Inspector General of the National Police Service, Joseph Boyne, says the police will continue with sustained operations against all criminals, including terrorists and cattle rustlers, without fear or favor. The Top Gun made the remarks during a bravery award ceremony by Manu Chandare Foundation for 28 police officers who showed courage, commitment, and selflessness to protect the public against security threats. Patrick Amino reports. The 28 officers came from different police formations, including the GSU Rekke Squad, the Flying Squad, Special Crimes Prevention Unit, and the Administration Police. Two GSU officers, Bernard Kipkemoi Tonui and Diba Mochama, were recognized posthumously. Corporal Bernard Tonui was killed on April 2nd during the Garissa University College attack by Al Shabaab terrorists. He was leading GSU Reke officers when a cornered terrorist detonated himself through a suicide bomb. Other officers from the squad who participated in the Garissa University operation were recognized. Diba Mochama was killed in July when a presidential security team was involved in an accident near Archer's Post Junction in Nanyuki. He was among 20 officers from the GSU record squad sent to Isiolo and Marsabit on security surveillance ahead of President Uhuru Kenyatta's visit to the bandit and cattle rustling prone areas. Administration Police Constable Eric Mugendi, who survived the bandit attack October last year in Capedo that left 19 of his colleagues dead, was awarded for bravery. You gave your home, no matter the consequences, and that's why you are 101 of us posthumously, and you did your job to the, to the very best of your ability. You are the role models for them. When they look at you, the young officer who's just coming out of Ganjo will say, yeah, that man, why did he get an award? I will make sure that I get an award. Corporal Simon Kifani of the Loret based Flying Squad Unit was recognized for leading an operation that led to the recovery of six AK-47 rifles and about 700 bullets in burnt forests was the Gisho County in December last year. Two administration police officers who battled al Shabab militants who ambushed Mandera Governor Ali Roba's convoy in March this year were equally recognized. The vehicle Ali Roba was using had gone past the militia when his aides were ambushed. So let's also be known for being courageous, for being committed, and for engaging in our jobs with that sense of, of selfless, selflessness that the majority of us are known for. Because it's not an easy job to confirm some thug with an, with a, with an AK-47. <coughs> because two things are likely to happen. He goes or you go. The police boss said the awards will go a long way in boosting the morale of officers. Patrick Amimo, KTN News.